to my brothers and sisters. Hello. Welcome back to Soul Talk. I hope you are having a beautiful day. Thank you so much for stopping by. Well, today, what I would like to talk about is a um, topic of, of interest that we haven't really spoken of before, but what the difference is between an asleep human and an awake avatar. <clears throat> now, first let's talk about what an asleep human would appear like, what, how you would be able to recognize one. Well, an asleep human would generally um, eat a lot of processed food. We talked about processed food the other day. A lot of things with GMOs and pesticides in them. Um, probably eats a lot of sugar uh, or drinks a lot of caffeine. <clears throat> Anything to, to um, I guess, you know, the sugar and the caffeine... Eh, one is meant to slow you down and one is meant to speed you up. And that's just a sign that they're not able to be on one frequency at one point. Um, they're just like roller coasters, really, like emotional roller coasters is, uh, is what it's like. They would also have a lot of stress around them, um, constantly getting into maybe bickerments, arguments, uh, even physical fights with other people or just just drama just that bicker bullshit <laughs> sorry but um generally talking like repeating themselves in a way about negative things it would, it would appear to be very negative people with a lot of um you know darkness within them those are generally the beings that are asleep on this planet and most times there seemingly are more of them than there are awake avatars. Um, well, what is an awake avatar? In Sanskrit, avatar means a manifestation of a deity or a released soul in human form on planet Earth. An avatar is an incarnate of a divine teacher. Now, you know how we generally talk about the fact that there is a God and God is within us. I said this on my video just the other day, and there is. The avatar shows exactly just that within its definition. To be deity or deity or divine teacher, well, that is what a god or goddess is divine teacher that which shows us all the magic all the infinite beauty within the universe and within the universe within us so when you have gained a certain amount of awareness when you start going through the awakening process it may be difficult at first to recognize the difference between asleep humans and an awake avatar. The beings on this planet that recognize that there is a certain way that our world has been going for centuries, that society has placed all these social constructs on us to keep us separate. Because if we were united, we would stand up and fight against the tyranny of man, right? If we were able to come together, to gather and create, to share this universal space, instead of fighting over it, instead of creating boundaries, blockages, walls, wars, all these things that are pointless, ones that only keep us further apart. Now, the beings on this planet that feel that way, that recognize that this way of living is not healthy for anyone <laughs> those are the awake avatars the people that you feel such a strong soul connection to that you just feel unconditional love and inspiration and motivation by these beings the ones that push you to better yourself 
Those are the awake avatars. Truthfully speaking, an asleep human, well, if they had a bit more awareness, they would be able to recognize that your life can be the dream. It's wonderful to enter into another realm in the unconscious, on the unconscious level, to enter different dimensions. But these are, those dreams are like portals, right? I was talking about the other day that it's, it's temporary. It doesn't last. Your life should look like a dream in such a way that you can't tell the difference between your dream state and your wake state. And all the information, all the tools that you need to access this absolute happiness are out there for you. There are so many different ways of gaining access to that. By emptying your mind, by being in still meditation, by calming your mind, because where energy goes, it flows, right? So when you focus your attention inward, when you are able to look within and still your mind, you can open up your brain in such a way you can open up yourself, your soul, your spirit in such a way that the universe i.e. the source, God, all the magic that is with, with the, all around us and within us, if you're able to do so, then you would recognize there's no need to go into a sleep state and dream of a better place to be because you, you are there. And it's all within you. you know? Sleep human beings, they are filled with so much fluoride that it blocks their third eye, their ability to truly experience a different way of thinking, to experience a different reality, to go into um, another dimension, to to tap into, you know, the Godhead. You, you can't do that. You can't tap into the Godhead if it's decalcified or, or if it's calcified. So you need to decalcify it. And, um, you know, the easiest way to decalcify your pineal gland is to sun gaze. I didn't talk very extensively about that the other day uh, when I was doing my video with my friend Lindsay. Shout out to Lindsay again. <laughs> um, I didn't fully go over that, but, but one of the easiest ways is for you, one, to drink, um, drink water that... Uh, <laughs> well, let's see, drink water that is from an actual source, <laughs> um, you know, that has a good pH balance in it, that has minerals in it. Uh, that's one way to decalcify yourself because just the, the tap water and whatnot, unless you're living in South Lake Tahoe, um, where the water is very pure, um, it, it, it is hard to decalcify yourself even taking showers with it I, I uh, I'll be honest I mean that's why I just don't take a shower every day <laughs> you don't need to you're wasting it and also you're just you're, you're adding to that that cloud and clutter um, I don't know if you've ever noticed how much you sp just space out in the shower how much you uh, you end up conversating with that other voice uh, you know, like the, the, the inner Cheryl, the one that tells you to be fearful of, well, everything. And that you're not good enough, that, um, that you're not worthy of love. You see, I, I truly believe those ha <laughs> conversations happen so much in the shower because you're, you're getting... Um, you're getting poisoned, basically, by your water. I don't mean to... Um, to alarm anyone but hopefully by this point you guys know that so there's no need for you to um you know shower every single day every single day jump in the ocean go to a river and find a body of water that which you can can truly cleanse yourself and your, and your soul when you need to but um yeah um one of other way for you to decalcify your pineal gland is for you to sun gaze before the sun, you know, fully set, like I talked about the other day, you are able to stare at it in a way that it doesn't hurt your eyes. So you can absorb all the nutrients that you need from the sunlight. 
So um, there are many differences between an asleep human and an awake avatar, but I just wanted to go over a few of those today and, um, you know, maybe give you a little bit of a clue of the lower vibration um, vibrations that are around you and how to recognize that because until you're able to protect yourself, when you get to a certain um, high level, when you get to a certain frequency on your own in such a way that you have experienced absolute happiness, where there, because there is a difference between resolute happiness and absolute happiness. When you get to that certain point, then lower vibrational uh, beings, they won't be able to touch you. You won't be as easily affected by it but until you know how to protect your energy until you know how to clear that um until you you find your own practices that work for you then you need to be able to recognize these beings so that you can steer clear of that and there's nothing wrong with you just saying i don't have time to be on that level with you because you are here to experience this life in such a way that you can master this human experience. You are able to get everything that you've ever dreamed of truthfully. You know, the laws of attraction are real. I, I truly believe that you can create things with your fear. You know, uh, us human beings, we can be creators and destroyers, and it just depends on how you look at it. We can create beauty and love and art through positivity, through a higher energetic frequency. Or we can create destruction. We can create destruction. We can create blockages. Um, we can create all different kinds of issues through our negativity, through our lower vibrations. So we can also be destroyers. We can be destroyers of things that are positive in this world, things that allow us to um, to further ourselves as a human race. Sorry for the camera moving. Um, or we can destroy this society that was really just created to um, to keep us dumbed down. A society that was created so that we don't figure out who we really are. So we don't remember that deity within us. Or the deity. Right? The deity within us. So. Hmm. Make that be your project. Really. This is one of the greatest things that I can do to help you here. Is to recognize the beings around you that are asleep. To lack a certain amount of openness and awareness and, um, well, you know, love is always within us, right? I, I truly believe that when we start out as a soul, as a spirit, we are pure and, and filled with love and light. I really believe that. And so I believe that sometimes it can just lie dormant in some beings that have lost their way, really, that have lost their way and the darkness looked a little bit better than the light. Because sometimes light can be a bit too blinding for us. If we're used to being unhappy, if we're used to being uncomfortable, if we're comfortable with the uncomfortable, then, you know, it's hard to remember that infinite being that is within us. You know, um, and the ones that are asleep on this planet are all too comfortable with the uncomfortable. So learn to recognize those beings that do not match your energetic frequency and just steer clear. You don't have enough time here to waste it on beings that aren't going to assist you in your growth as a human being. That others that aren't interested in expanding themselves. You don't have enough time to waste doing that. So it's okay for you to, um, to choose your own happiness, to choose a peace of mind rather than trying to help someone that doesn't want to help themselves. I believe and hope that everybody will get there, but not everyone is there right now. So 
Learn to recognize your awake avatars as well, the ones that are around you that are going to assist you in changing the world. <laughs> so, mm, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that today. And um, I thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a beautiful day. Please like and subscribe and share this video if you think there will be anybody that's interested or could find it useful. If you have any questions, please let me know and leave your name in the comments if you do watch this. I do enjoy connecting further with you guys. So, yeah. I see you. I hear you. I appreciate you. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.